I'm going to do a little demonstration here using my home layout and how to install the dwarf signal kit on the layout. Here I already have one kit installed on the turnout. You can see the green light there indicating. And using the snail tortoise or snail, the lights indicate. This is the back side you can see through. Like that. So I'm going to install one on this next turnout and uh, for starters I just need three holes. I'm going to put one right here right beside the uh, points. I'm going to put one back here which will indicate the color for the train uh, going into the switch, whether or not it's, uh, sorry, whether or not it's uh, appropriate for it to go in, and then one on the straight, on the straight side. So again, whether or not it can uh, travel through the turnout. So I'll drill these out, and we'll go from there next. So nothing too fancy, just drilled two holes. Oops, one there, one here, and one right by the points. Might move that one a little bit closer right there would be kind of nice instead of over here. Just because signal bridge is a little in the way of the view. Uh, yeah, I might move it over. It's pretty easy to drill one inch styrofoam board. So, okay, now to get the dwarf signal kit out of the package, it's pretty straightforward. Three uh, dwarf signals, whoops, here. LEDs already inside. Here's the power. It goes to the rails, DCC rails, rectifier here, actually, yeah, rectifier, and Mulux plug, so you can just unplug that and unplug it so that the rest of the harness. And each one of the dwarf signals has its own plug, so you can unplug it and drop it down through the table put it onto this harness I call it a harness in there so then there's only three wires left red wire which is the common going to your uh, tortoise switch machine or in my case a snail yellow and green for whether it's normal or reverse direction and that's all there is to it so I'll drop those uh, Unplug those, drop them in, and show you the rest. Okay, I thought I'd show you this in a little more detail here. So, signal lights. Three of them. And... They come with the resistors already built in. There's three of them. And the wire color is corresponds to the LED lights. So in this case, this dwarf signal has a green and red. So this one will have a green and yellow LED. Black's the common, by the way. And then there is red and yellow and 
they correspond to the same color. So you know which one, if you unplug all three of them, you know which one to plug it back into. It's pretty straightforward. You can't screw it up. The plug goes only the one way. You can't have it backwards. And I made the common in there to be the middle. So even if you did jam it in backwards, it doesn't really matter. Just the LED will be backwards. Wrong color will show up. Um, then of course it just goes to um, pairs. I pair up all the uh, LED lights so the right ones are shown based on where's my colors? Green and red, green, green, green. Here they are. Based on which one of these is connected. So when your tortoise switch machine, or in my case a smell, a Wathers switch machine, when these two are connected, then all the, but those particular LED lights are shown and then the turnout is the other way. Then the other LEDs are shown. So it's pretty straightforward. And then of course, here's the power which I take off the rails, DCC. You just have to solder these to the rail or, or uh, in my case, I put them on my bus line underneath the table. And again, this one has a two Mulux connector, two, black and red. Can't get it backwards. That's it. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty straightforward device. Okay, like I said, I'll drop these down, unplug these three, and drop them down in the layout, and they'll just hang down from the bottom of the layout for now. Okay, I wanted to show you also pulling one of these uh, plugs apart. Mulux. I just wiggle them back and forth. And they come apart. And there's only one way they can go in. You can't put them in the opposite way. They have to go in this way. And you just slide back in together. Okay, I'm gonna drop these down. This one is red and green so yes or no and that would be goes in here oops so all you do is just drop it down through your table I'm gonna pull from the bottom side Red and green. Yes or no? There's the other one. This is red and yellow. Of course, you can use. In my case, this is the main line, so that's why the green light for that one. Down here at the points, gonna be green or yellow light. So, just by the wires. So, I drilled the hole in here. I lifted up the foam and I drilled the hole underneath, by the way. Reach underneath. Oh, that's why. Tortoise. 
line is in the way. And I just put a little slit in this foam here for now. Just to hold it. Yeah, temporary now until, of course, I... So underneath the layout, don't mind the mess. I'm working on other projects, NCE for my signals, but here, there's the one, and the other two, where'd they go? You know, it would help if I took these off my head. Oh, there they are. Give me the crickets. So, there's the other two. You just plug them up to the harness. And I'll do that next with you. So, here I am. I call this the harness. This piece. All it does is connect all three of the door signal heads together to the appropriate uh, wire. So you can see this one's red and green. Red and green goes to this one. So all I do is uh, plug it into the matching one. And since I only got two hands, I'm gonna turn this off and then uh, get back to you. Okay, so there's the two dwarfs on the one side of the turnout plugged in and there's the other one back in here so you just plug this harness in it just it's hanging down there for now oops hanging down here for now in my case the power you can take this up to the rails or I have a temporary until I put terminals underneath my layout. So I'll just be putting these in right here. Because that's my temporary hookup for the tortoise switch machine. And then the last three connections, I'll just give you a quick show there too. Okay, last three connections. Red wire here goes to tortoise. There it is. Tortoise. In my case, I dropped wires down from the tortoise from the double pull single throw switch. The yellow is common, so I just given it power. And then the green and yellow wires you see in the background there a little bit, they'll go to each one of those poles or orange wires, which is basically if I touch this up on top, the lights are one color and then now they're on another color. And I'll show you that in just a sec. I'm just going to twist these on here for now for a temporary hookup. Okay, that's my temporary hookup for now. So coming down from the tortoise, again, coming down from the tortoise switch machine, the yellow is the common, and then connected to either one or orange uh, indicates whether or not it's normal or reverse, and connected to my harness. So red for the power, and then to green and yellow for the lights, which is split. Goes to here and then up to each one of the dwarfs. So that's about it. Let's go check them out. Okay, here they are. So yellow at the turnout. And of course, yellow. So I actually have them backwards, which is no big deal. You just gotta change the wire around and then red. And then when you switch the 
Green and red. And green. So that's it. So just to change the polarity, because the lights are actually backwards. So green wire, I have to change to where the yellow wire and the yellow wire to the green wire. That's it. And then I can just permanently put those lights in. Bingo, done. 15 minutes or less. So I just changed the uh, wires around the green and yellow. So now you can see the turnout is set for the main line dwarf is green this dwarf is green and red for the siding so if i turn this turnouts yellow and red yellow for the siding red for the main line yellow for the siding. Sweet! Works pretty cool.